Vince Russell from Get Good With Vince here with a Blender quick tip on creating an IK arm rig using bendy bones. You can download the simple arm mesh I'm using by clicking the link in the video description or you can use your own mesh. Just make sure that the bones are all aligned properly and your hand bone, its associated control bone and the pole target are not parented to any other bones. Now let's change the armature display type to B bone. If the bones seem a bit large, you can scale them by hitting Control alt s Let's set our bone segments. Select the arm bone, make sure you're in the bone tab and set the segments to 8. Do the same for the forearm bone. Doesn't matter as we're not going to be rigging the fingers but I'll set the segments for the hand to 6. Now let's bind the mesh to the armature but before we do so let's make sure that our control bones will not be included in the binding process. If that happens you'll get all kinds of weird deformations that will be difficult to find and fix. Trust me, I've been there. Let's make sure that doesn't happen by unchecking the deform checkbox in the bone tab for both our IK, main and pole target. Okay, that's the heavy lifting out of the way, now for the fun part. Select the mesh, then shift select the armature. Hit control P to parent the mesh to the armature with automatic weights. Select the armature and tab into pose mode and select one of the bendy bones. Play around with the curve, scale or roll properties to see the result. You may need to use Blender's weight painting tools in order to get the results you want, but let's just accept what we got for now. If your deformations look a bit jagged, just make sure that your armature modifier is above your subdivision surface modifier in the modifier stack. Order of operations requires us to deform and then subdivide the mesh for a smooth result. Okay, final stretch. Let's add some constraints so we can control our rig more easily. Make sure you're in pose mode and then select the main IK control for the arm and then shift select the forearm bone. Hit shift control C and add a stretch to constraint and then an inverse kinematics constraint as well. Then select the main IK control and then the hand bone and add a copy transforms constraint. Go to the bone constraints tab for the forearm and you'll notice that the targets for both constraints have been added automatically. But we still need to set a pole target for our IK chain. Click on the pole target field in the IK constraint settings and select your armature and then in the bone field that appears under it select the bone you are using as the pole target. If your mesh goes crazy don't worry it's an easy fix. Just set the pole angle to a number that makes the mesh look good. I'm going to set mine to 180 degrees but your rig might require a different setting. Now let's test our rig out. Select the main IK control and move it around to see how your rig reacts. Do the same with your IK pole target. The best part is that the bendy bones allow you to adjust their curve, roll, and scale properties as well, making overlap and follow through in your animations a breeze. This workflow could be applied just about anywhere you would use an IK chain, so go nuts! A production rig would of course be more complex, but we can see the incredible potential of bendy bones within this simple example. That's a Blender quick tip I hope helps you in your journey to get good. <laughs>